Hi, welcome. My name is Paul. Today I'm gonna show you how to use Movavi Slideshow Maker. But before we begin, subscribe to my channel. You can also share my videos. You can also go to the description section to get a download link where you can get this software. Now, let's begin. Now, when you open Movavi Slideshow Maker, it, it, will, it will give you this uh, interface here where it will give you Slideshow Wizard and create a movie in a manual mode. Uh, if you want to uh, have an easy way you can just choose this but in this case we're going to use create a movie in a manual mode so i'll just click this one and it will give me this setup here now the first thing i'm going to do there are these sections here where there are these sections there's this file import options there's the filter there's the transition section there's the text titles or text section also there's the sticker section and also there are more tools here which you can use uh now here is also is where your media pictures music and everything will be displayed and here is the preview section where if you play a video in when you edit it will play then we have the transition section transition is very important most of your working is done here and you can see it is better into around three sections there's the video section there's the audio section and the title section so you're going to look at uh, most of all these things aspect here so that at least you have an, uh, 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 an overview of what you're going to do. So, so the first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to click add files. This video editing is very easy. You just start by adding the files. The files can be audio or video. So I'll click this one here. Then it will take me to where my files are. So I'm going to choose uh, both videos and uh, pictures. So I'm going to choose this one here. This one here, you can just uh, select them by pressing control key in the keyboard and selecting like that. So I'll choose a few of them, uh, most of them pictures because Movavi Slideshow Maker is made actually for making pictures into something like a movie. So I'll just select all of this like so, then I'll just open, then all of them will just come in my uh, media bin here. So uh, I'll have all of them here. Now the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to double click this one. If you double click this one, uh, they're going to come in the timeline here. There's this dialog box that will come. If the aspect ratio of your file does not match the project. I'll just say don't change. Uh, I'll just say don't change so that it remains uh, the way. But I can also pull down. You can also pull it uh, that, that way in the timeline. You can also pull it again like that. Or you can just double click it. You can also add a video. I think I placed a video. Yeah, if you see this sign here, it means it is a video. So I'll just pull this video like so now the next thing if you want to play or preview uh, you can see the preview here you just play, click this one and it will play like that now you realize uh, you realize here in the timeline the the video has two sections the downer part is the audio section and the okay the downer part is the audio section and the upper part is the video section now let's say I want to separate this audio and the video what you like i just right click it will give me more options here you can also play pause side clip tools and many other things but this this thing what right now i'm going to do i'm just going to detach audio I'll just click this one and you see the audio and the video will separate just like that and if you're very keen if you look at my timeline here the audio section is uh, is represented by this thing like a musical sign and uh, the, or both this one, this uh, timeline, this timeline here, and this timeline here are both all audio. And if, if you look, this one is presented by this the video timeline. Now, after that, I can easily, uh, I can even, I can easily uh, place my audio by just clicking and dragging wherever I want the, it to be. Maybe I can even pull it. You can even uh, uh, make it come down here. Even make it come. Uh, maybe here uh, now the next thing i'm going to show you maybe i want to add uh, another track or a timeline what will i do just come here i'll just add right click here here then i'll just add an extra i can decide to add a video track to just add a video track on top here then they can use this scroller to go to go like this what about if i want to add audio i'll just click this one and come add track then it will add an audio track now if you're if you're very keen the upper part the upper tracks are uh, what the upper parts are 
text uh, tracks where you can add text later on i'll show you how to add text now it is very important to know how to use your timeline because most of your working will be happening in a timeline now let's say this video i want to cut it uh, there's this aspect here where you can use it to scroll like this let's say i want to cut it i want to separate it i'll just use this there are these tools here which you can use the first one is undo let's say i cut it i'll just click this one and it will, it will be cut into two which i, which I can then uh, separate i can try to separate maybe bring one above the other or i can also bring what about if i want to undo you can just press this one here and it will uh, go back to whatever you were doing before and i'll also do this what about if i want to delete i'll just press delete here and it will go if i undo it will come back there's also this option here maybe you want to rotate your your maybe uh, i will now put my my slider under the picture maybe i want to rotate my picture just click this one here you see it can rotate if i want to rotate again if i want to rotate again it will rotate i want to rotate again again it will rotate like that so there are very many options let's say i want to do color adjustment for my picture here i click it there's this option here where you can click and there are these auto color adjustments let's say i want it to be auto saturated i'll just click it and drag it and put it over there and you can see if i want to adjust it i'll always click this one here and it will give me options where you can see how i can adjust it uh, like that you can just really adjust it I'll just leave it at that and then i'll just go back i'll just click this one to go back here now if you see this sign it means you can double click and uh, also always uh, edit the option you just uh, put uh, there now guys that's how to uh, sneak it of how to work with the timeline quickly as you can see there now if i go back to my media bin the other options here maybe i want to add sound i want to add maybe audio something i just come to click this one here and then i come to sound now there are this uh, inbuilt sounds in the software which you can use for example this one here maybe i want people to clap applause i'll click this one it will be here so if i play and listen to the sound there guys right, you can download this you first of all you have to download them this is sign you just double click up to the make sure you have an internet you can just double click here then the next option is the music maybe i want music maybe i'm doing an action movie let me i want to delete this i want to delete this uh, sound here you can also press the delete key in your keyboard to just go i want to use this action sound so i'll just uh bring it here under sound and it will just be there uh, i'll just play you can hear the and hear the sound there now you can also adjust the sound here there's this white line here you can pull it down which means you've lowered the voice if i play if i play you can also use uh, the space bar in your keyboard to play pause play pause, just like that if i increase the sound like that if i play you can see that one there so you can always adjust the sound using this one this uh, aspect here this aspect here uh, like that so you can also download many of these sounds here then also mobile comes with sample videos if you want to use uh, you can easily use them uh, you can download them some of them are downloadable uh, maybe uh, like this one here you want to do a countdown maybe after the video has ended maybe you want to do a the play see that so there are this sample then there's the background this is good especially you want to put a background for, for your video or for your picture for example i can pull this one maybe i want to put this one here like that but now you realize this one is on top so do i do i love to put this one above it here so to be no sorry i want to put it above my my picture so the picture will be above here so you see it is, it is acting as a background you see it is acting if i play it's acting like a background there uh you can also put uh you can come back here backgrounds you can also put background here but now you make sure this picture is on top here like that so that we so that the background can be seen you can see the background is there 
But come again here, there's also this, this effects, but some of them you purchase, some of them you have to buy there. So you can also play around with all uh, this. Now, if you want to delete everything in the timeline, I'll just control A, I'll just select one, then control A, then I'll just delete in my keyboard and all of them will go. I'll come again here. The next, thing I want, the next tool I want to show you is this one here, which is uh, featured whereby you can get uh, some, but before that, I'll go back and import, uh, I'll go to the media bin, you go to the media bin, but if you want to import again, just come here and add, but I'll go to the media bin here, maybe put uh, some picture here, uh, I'll just, this time, I'll just change so that it just uh, come again, put another, like that. So maybe I'll add, I'll come again, media bin, uh, maybe I'll add a video maybe to city now i'll come to your featured here now there are the various options where you can also put maybe you want to put a blur in your video you can just click it and hover it and place it here if i play Hi. you see it has blurred my, my video let me undo so that you see how it, it, it look this is how it looked you can even add uh, some art like uh, uh, maybe like uh, if i click this one here you see you can add this art yeah, you, you can also add some art as you can see I've just added here, like here. You can also add maybe I'll let me undo so that you see this one. Maybe you can also add paper planes. <laughs> uh, maybe you want to add paper planes in your video so that you're not okay paper planes are there. So there are very this many options here you can play around with. Let me just undo that. Then I'll I'll go to the transitions. Transition is good, especially if you want to move from one video to another. So then, then what you're supposed to do, there are very various transition you can use here. Maybe let me use artistic. What you need to do about transition, you can just click and you can put it in between a video and a picture or a video and a video. So if I come here and play this, you can see that my transition is this one here. It is transitioning from another. Let's say maybe I want to choose another transition, maybe a circle. I can just uh, click it and drag it and place it here like that. So if I want to play, I just come and play like that. You can see how the transition is done. The next thing I want to show you, there's no video that is good if you don't put a text. I'll just come and put a text, click tag T here. Then when I click T here, there are many texts here. You realize anytime you click these options here, there are these aspects here which you can use uh, here. For example, I have this featured here, I have basic, I have artistic, I have, uh, let me just use basic, maybe I just want to realize the, the track for text is on top here. So I just pull it here and place it somewhere there. Then if I want to edit the text, maybe I write my name, Paul, you can see that, then I can just position it somewhere like maybe here, but realize now it's leaving the background just like, and then I'll apply. Now, if I play, if I play like that, you can see my text is there. But uh, let's say I want to position it. I'll double click it again and maybe pull it here and also come and pull the background of the text there. I can also nominate it like that and I also play like that. Now, you can experiment with various texts and very many texts there. Now, the next thing here, stickers, especially if you're using something like social media to make, okay. The first two here are forced to download from the internet, but let me just use the ones that are already there. For example, I want to put a tick. Maybe I can position my, I can position my, uh, this slider here. Then I can just place a tick on top here. You realize they'll come under the T, the, the text timeline here. So if I play tick, maybe I'm explaining something. Maybe I can say this one is tick, this one is wrong. For example, if I play this one, you can see, I can also add an X maybe like here yeah you can position it maybe somewhere here like that then i'll just apply then i'll just play uh, like that so also there are these other options where you can put color these are actually these options like color adjustments i think we have looked at crop and rotate maybe you can also crop a video and rotate for example let me just come to this uh, my first picture here Maybe I want to I'll select it first. If I want to crop and rotate, I can just do this. Maybe I want to crop it uh, like that. Then I can just apply. It will be cropped. Also, it applies to videos. If I just click here and choose crop and rotate, you can easily crop your video like that, like that. 
then I'll just apply. So if I play, you can see the video is cropped. There are many options here, fan, animation, you can also play around with the animations. Maybe I just want this picture to slide in my screen. So when it, when it opens, for example, like this, you see, you can easily play around with animation. This is the chroma key works, the green screen, we'll talk about that later on. Then the screen detection and logo, you can also play your logo audio. You can also do some audio adjustments uh, there. Guys, that's how to use Movavi Slideshow Maker. You can use, you can create a very nice slideshow. Kindly subscribe to my channel. You can also give us a thumbs up. You can also share my videos. But make sure you watch the next video.